Now, I was talking about shearing in the early days. You would go into the sheds and you'd see shearers working away with their shearing blades. But you know how many of them got to those sheds in those very early days? It was on push bikes. And some of them would ride huge distances, huge distances. There used to be teams of shearers that catch the train in Adelaide and they'd go up to Maori and about 20 of them would get off with their push bikes. They'd have their swags over the handlebars, combs and cutters on the side and some of them had to ride 900 k's for their first year. And uh, what an effort it was. Can you imagine? No uh, thorn-proof tyres on the bikes. So they'd be endlessly mending punches, sleeping out in the frost, trying to fight off dingoes. And, uh, but then, um, later on, it wasn't push bikes that was going all over the outback to the shearing shed. It was trucks, trucks, old trucks. And what they would do, they'd put the whole shearing team on the back of the trucks. And there they would. They'd be on those trucks for air after air after air on rough old roads and full dust going all over them. And um, it came in handy at times. Um, sometimes the truck would bolt, get bolt. Well, guess who had to help push it out? All the shearers on the back. They'd all have to jump off and um, push, the, push the truck out and on they'd go again. But it was um, rough work out in those sheds. Uh, sometimes big rains had come in and um, big rains had come in and they'd be marooned and um, have to wait a long time for the sheep to dry. And now, here's a sheep that's heavy, but there'd be a reason for that. You know, sheep have memories. Maybe someone saw this sheep last year and didn't treat it very well. But this sheep is unaware that it has a lot better shearer this year in Nick. But Nick's got it well under control. He knows how to control them. I remember a brilliant young shearer in our shearing schools, but he had one problem, his temper. And he'd hit the sheep with a handpiece. But one thing I couldn't help notice, before he hit it, he'd look around to see if I was about. And if I was around, the sheep was quite safe. And so here's Nick coming down the last side, called the whipping side. And that's where often you see shearers trying to race one another to be the first off with the sheep. Black wool here. And uh, so when you call out black wool, the shed hand has to run over and pull out that bit of black wool. The reason being that this is white wool. You know, and when that goes into, uh, give Nick a big clap, when uh, this goes into processing, that black wool will thread out and you'll see little black 